Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I'm excited to show you another new stamp set which is available in the spring summer catalogue uh, which launches on the 3rd of January. And um, if you haven't got a catalogue and you'd like one with the celebration, um, just let me know and I'll be happy to post one out to you in the post. Um, this stamp set I think is absolutely lovely because you have 40 images with all the types of family that you can think of. So you've got people with, um, with goatees, with beards, with spiky hair, with curly hair, you've got babies, you've got cats, you've got dogs, you've got every different sort of hairstyle you can think of you've got a a father a mother children babies um just so much glasses um things for coats just everything and sentiments a warm welcome congratulations happy birthday and from all of us so there is so much that we can do with this but i thought that it would be quite fun to start off with a little card for a little girl's birthday um, so we are going to take, um, let me take one of the little tiny A blocks and we are going to take the um, little girl image. So let's take this little girl and let's put her down on, in fact, no, I'm going to take the next size block up for her. So this is the C block, I think. Go around, yes, this is the C block. So, photopolymer, so it's really easy to see through. And we are just going to ink this up in a good black ink, like this. And we are going to stamp the little girl out down on the bottom, like this. So, this is her little body, like that. Let me get my Simply chamois out so I can clean this off in between. Like that. And then we need to do the head part. So the head part, it's quite interesting. There is a little piece which looks like, let me make sure I've got the right one, which is this one. And it almost looks like a headphone. Um, but... It's actually the bottom of the, um, to do the bottom of her face. So it's not a headphone. There is one for headphones, but this is to do the bottom of her head. So we are going to line this up down on the bottom, says me. I have very bright lights on my camera, so I want to try and get this as best I can. So let's just line that up there like that. And then you've got the little bottom of her head. And then we're going to take her hair. So I thought I would do the little girl with the... Let's put this little piece back in here. So we want... Um, we're going to have this hair, which is this one. And again, um, lining up on this. It took me a couple of goes to work out exactly how you line it up. But you can see on the image... There's a little space either side where her ears will go. So we have to line this up. So it's me trying to come through where the little ears are. Hopefully with the camera light it will be right. There we are. So we've now got, if, you, if I pick it up like this, you can see where it just goes in and you've got her ears either side showing. Um, so that's how you get it to line up. Um, and then we are going to take a little face. So um, there's three different faces that you can use. So if you're doing a whole family, they don't have to have the same expression. And I think I'm going to use this little one with a little tiny sort of button nose, um, which is quite sweet. So again, on the little A block, um, they're small pieces. So remember to pop them back into your stamp case afterwards. And then we're going to line that up and then we're going to put her little face just in the centre like this. So we then have a really sweet little girl. Let me just clean this one off again. 
and then we are going to um, we're going to have a little bow in her hair so there's a lovely little bow so let's find the bow um, right that's this little one up here um, I love the fact that it's um, it's like dress up isn't it I always remember when I was little you used to get those magazines and things that you could uh, girls magazines that would have dress up in there and um, so you could get all of the different bits and pieces on so we're just going to stamp that off separately on there so that's going to be the little bow for her hair and then we are going to have there's a lovely little baby image and I thought that that would be quite sweet as a little sort of rag doll image for her to be carrying so let's find the little baby which is here so we're going to take this little baby out and again just pop it on the block and give that an ink up and we can just pop that one down on there because we are going to fussy cut these out um, you can put them all on um, as one layer if you want to but I just thought for this one it would be quite nice to do the fussy cutting and as I say it reminded me of of cutting out all the little dresses and and um, things that I used to do when I was little okay so for coloring this this time we are going to use some of our stamping right markers so let me get one of my boxes out with the stamping right markers sorry if my light and everything has just gone a bit wobbly let's just stop the camera on there because it's up on the shelf and um we are going to use let's use um we'll have the baby in a pale pink so let's just uh, color the little baby in in the pale pink um, as I say you can use any colors you want um, I'm just doing this very quickly to just show you um, but because it's a very tiny image the stamping right markers work really well so I have a little pink baby like that um, we are going to have um, the little girl's going to be in red let's have her as a as a bright little girl so we're going to do her little bow in red so just color that round in quickly as I say spend a bit more time than I'm doing I'm doing it very quickly for just to give you an idea and then we're going to do her little dress in red as well so let's just take that one round and color in her dress I quite like spending time colouring as I say I'm rushing it on here but um, you can uh, spend as much time as you want which is rather nice. Um, excuse me while I just turn my phone off. Um... Right. I'm sorry I have... Um... Unfortunately, I should have turned my phone on to silent, but uh, but there you go. Okay, so we've got the little girl's dress in red. Let's just finish off that little bit at the bottom. And then she's going to have, um, let's have the baby with sort of yellow hair, shall we? Because it's going to be a sweet little baby. Um, or a little, um, I say, I'm going to have it as, as her little rag doll. So let's just do the hair in quickly like that there we go and she's going to have brown hair so let's get a brown one out and give her nice brown hair so you can do all sorts of shading and stuff if you want to I'm just very quickly coloring it in so you can see how easy it is to color um, color these little images in and as I say there's so much that you can do with this set um, I think it's going to be very popular because with 40 images you can do something for virtually anybody and you can do whole groups of families and things um, make them in in sort of photos and stuff like that and uh, now for her face um, I want to do the face quite pale oh we want her little red shoes so let's do little red shoes in here just on the tips of those so she's got nice little red shoes to match 
like that and then I am just going to very quickly for this one because um, I don't want her face and um, her arms to be too much so if you um, just scribble some of the colour onto a block you can pick it up and water it down with an aqua painter which I've got here so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the colour on the aqua painter so it's very very light and then we can just very lightly just colour in her face like that and then just down on her arms like that and then on her little legs as I say you don't need very much at all you can just pick it up and the nice thing about our blends is that um, you can water them down by using the aqua painter and then we're going to do the little baby as well with a nice little red um, or a little pink rosy face like that okay so that's our image done let's just pop these back in here and um, then what i am going to do is we are going to then just fussy cut those out um I'm not going to spend the time doing that now. I have done another one, but that gives you the image. So let me bring back the card idea that I thought of. So if you put, um, let me take this one out on here so we can see. All I've done is I've put it on a um, stitch shape framelit circle and matted it in the red co to coordinate with her dress. And I've put the little images up with um, the mini dimensionals and then done a little happy birthday. And then I thought to coordinate it because it's got some flowers in it. I would do um, a piece of the um, designer series paper and then just put this little image here on the center like this. And then you could do it for a specific age birthday. So you can take the number out and put, you know, um, if we move it down a little bit. You could have a you know, a six or a seven or something like that on there. But I thought it was a really sweet little image um, to just showcase this absolutely lovely stamp set and show you just one idea that you can do with it. So thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.